I used to be a platform engineer or DevOps engineer or just an ops person before I was a developer. And I'll tell you one thing I think I currently, you know, made a mistake back then. I never had a really good interface for what it meant to utilize the systems. It was always give me your code and we will run a bunch of scripts and logic and somehow we'll end on the box. And if something broke, then we were all gathered together <laughs> and troubleshoot. And we would do that repeatedly for decades. If you think about what we really need in these worlds, it's not about silos, right? Silos are only bad when there's no API. When there's an API, it doesn't feel so isolated. It feels like there's a promise. It feels like there's a contract with an SLA. So really what you want, and if you've done this 15 years ago, right, before all of this Kubernetes and Docker stuff, if you had CI CD back then, then you would have never changed most of your contract, right? It would have been check in the code, run some tests, create some artifact, and then let people describe what zones and regions do they need. And then when Kubernetes comes along, the only thing you would be changing is the last mile. You wouldn't be like, hey, let's teach everyone kubectl and let's talk about YAML files. You wouldn't be doing that. So I think it's the lack of giving developers contracts to our platforms is why we've created so much friction. And I think we went about it trying to solve the wrong problem. The goal wasn't to teach developers Docker, Vagrant, Puppet, Ansible. Those are all just uh, ends to a me you know, means to an end. The idea was to say, how do you allow someone to declare what they need from you and then take that information and converge it under the covers? Kubernetes just makes that easier to do.